Uh, I would like to talk about Dirk Borutu a lot today. Um, uh, just up front, small content warning. This talk will contain mentions of NSFW content and mild swearing. I will not show any pictures. I will not make any make any deep discussions. You had time for that yesterday evening, but just if anyone is not comfortable with that, they have the time to leave now. If you have any questions, uh, this is a small enough room, you can just yell them loud enough for me to hear. Um, there will also be some time after the talk and in between the sections for you to have to ask me. And I will also be on the con for the entire day if there are any questions after the talk. So, about me. I'm a brony since 2013. I'm a furry since some time later. Uh, I'm from Cologne. I'm a professional software engineer currently working with Android. Uh, and I want to be data scientist, as in I'm interested in big data sets and figuring out what to do with that. Um, but I am not a professional data scientist. If there are any professional data scientists here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah, but uh, I do have to start somewhere. Um, at this point, I want to give a quick thanks to uh, Luna, the quote-unquote CEO of Derby Bureau. Uh, That's, that title is heavily exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She tells us what to do. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was your quote. This is that's yes. why I put it in quote. It, uh, so it mostly just runs by itself. So yeah, uh, thanks to her for giving me some information uh, on this, helping out a little bit, um, just randomly pinging me on on Telegram, which at first caused me to furiously stop typing because I honestly had no idea who you are. <laughs> who you were. <laughs> <laughs> You know there's a staff list at the bottom of the... That's page. where I checked. <laughs> um, but, yes. Um, she was also kind enough to provide me with some uh, super secret statistics about the people that I was absolutely yes. not allowed to absolutely. share. Absolutely, yeah. That I was never allowed to tell you about. So without further ado, uh, <laughs> about Derby Bureau is an image sharing platform. For those, for those who do not know, it was the first upload was made on the... 2nd of January in uh, 2012. I couldn't find any uh, time before that when the site actually went online. Maybe you it know? went online on, on December 24th, 2011, but it was like in beta states. And yeah. I just took the upload date of the first image. Um, it also includes a commission page and form, which are not standards for, under, for other uh, Buru sites, but this one has it. And um, it serves around a million unique visitors at the moment per month and serves roughly a, a hundred terabytes of data a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> most of which is thankfully cached by Cloudflare. Uh, the most common image types are PNGs, yes, closely followed by JPEGs, SVGs, and GIFs. Um, funny fact about that, it's about double the amount of JPEGs than it is SVGs and double the amount PNGs than it is JPEGs, like almost on point. Um, the majority of users are from the US. Um, secondly, followed by Russia, which wasn't too surprising. What I was surprised by was, was China being on number three uh, for traffic. It's either, it's either the government's fine on the bronies or there are just quite a few bronies in China, I guess. Uh, People's product needs its entertainment. <laughs> they need to get it somewhere. Um, and then the UK and then like basically all of the other European countries after that. Um, for those who haven't seen it, this is the front page. Yes, I did use the save filter and yes, I did still have to censor some of the pictures because I was not comfortable showing these at a con. Um, <laughs> that is good. Good. Then when I when I come back next year, I can update that yeah. picture. Um, this is uh, this is a running theme on uh, during my research is that I ran into the 
into the hidden uh, and uh, spoiler tags a lot. We make a joke of the spoiler images. <laughs> so about data science, quick introduction. Data science is generally the science of gathering information from a data set. Um, it's pretty closely related to computer science and statistics, even though it's not specifically statistics, mostly that it will try to predict future events from those, from those data sets. Um, there are not a lot of predictions I can make about, about Derpy Row. There will be a few sprinkled in, a few surprising ones for me, but it's really hard to predict things, especially when you're not working with like, the proper hardware and software to do that. Uh, like me. Derpy <laughs> Derpy is still a relatively small data set for data science, but a relatively big data set for people who have, worked, who have been working with databases before. So, uh, not a lot of predictions I can take from there. So, what, so how does one now does that? They, we do have the website. How does one start analyzing the tutorial? Number one, you can do it manually. There is a statistics page in the footer that you can go to, and it gives you a few nice statistics, and then you find one small problem. There are about two and a half million images on the tutorial. 2.8 million pictures on the Google. I don't know about you, but I don't have the time to go through all of that. So let's automate it by scraping the website. There's an API. As moderators, we do actually have to Google as what's being uploaded. Yeah. It took us 10 years, though. Yeah. So the. Um, the Derpy Pro has a pretty standard format for the URLs. Like if you if you go to this URL, you will find a picture. And if you then slap a bit of stuff in between, uh, you get this wonderful output, which is basically all of the information that you could possibly be the one from an image in a machine readable format. That's great, that's something I can work with. Small problem. 2.8 million images. <laughs> I don't have the time for that, and they would probably be pretty quick to uh, to tell me, please stop flooding our servers. Okay, okay, okay. So about that, there, is, there are some people who are making like uh, site dumps, but instead of just downloading a data dump and just uh, using hitting our CDN for the images, they freaking do the API request for every single query for every single page and freaking kills the site. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever want to do data science. First, try to get in contact with the people who run the site. They often have very good tools for that. Uh, secondly, if you have to do a data dump, which sometimes need, which sometimes is necessary, make sure to not make too many requests. A lot of websites are run by private or semi-private people who are not ready to take the full force of another server <laughs> querying their website. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are going to drop your ass if we do that. Yeah. <laughs> we, so, we regularly see like those bad actors that like send API queries. Uh, page 50,000 whatever. Page, page 50,000 one. Page 50,000 yeah. two. Page 50,000 three. And, we, and they send it like, they, they hit us like multiple times a second and it causes Elasticsearch to completely fucking die. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. so I just go to Cloudflare. They say P? No. <laughs> <laughs> That is the result. Most often, you will get banned for this, and then you can try to work around it. I just, just don't. Just use option three. Just download the entire database because <laughs> Derpy Pro allows you to do that. Um, if you go to this website, you will find a little, uh, a little link that you can just download the entire file. I do love the little note, by the way, that says these dumps do not include images. Wouldn't have guessed that at a file size of 4.5 gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> Private messages are also not part of the dump. Also, your likes are not. I'm surprised um, it's even that small. I'm surprised yeah. even just even just the database alone is that small. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, the production deployments. Uh, I think the actual data size of the deployed database is around like 50 gigs. Okay, yeah. as, 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 yeah. as, as, as it is on, on the server, and the Elasticsearch takes like 15 gigs or something. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So there is a lot of stuff already stripped out of that. Um, but yeah, you, you just download it. 
and set up the database and port everything and fix the errors that you made and buy Docker on an Apple Silicon. Because when I did that, yeah. Apple Silicon was still relatively new and, and Docker did not like it. Uh, all in all, it took me about four hours to just get the data into the database, which is why I was very happy that you said you fixed the data dump that I could that I could address that I could address uh, the data, but I did not want to touch this system that I took one hour to set up. So the current data is from uh, May 2023. Because most, the, mostly because I fucked it up because <laughs> when I did multiple sources stuff, I forgot to update the dumps and they just failed for like three months. <laughs> You're so. professional, I swear. <laughs> Professional software engineering and IT department. <laughs> but also a hobbyist project. Yeah. So, May 2023 is, I think, reason enough for this talk. But in the end, you have success. You can scroll through the ungodly amount of images you have. This isn't even like this is not the full table, neither in width nor in depth. There are like something like 35 or 40 columns in this. There's a lot of data. So uh, let's start doing that. You can, if you have a database, you can poke it with SQL. Um, you can select interesting statistics from Derpy Borough and hit enter, and you get an error. <laughs> so after doing a bit more of SQL and actually writing something that uh, roughly resembles something that could work. Not stop the work. Not the stop the work. I used a lot of those. I have an entire <laughs> file full of subselects. I bet I can rewrite that with only the joins. Yes, probably. <laughs> so if there are any database engineers in here, I am sorry. <laughs> I'm an Android developer that has some experience with SQL. Um, but in the end, it still worked, and it gives you this wonderful chart of the most of uh, the picture number by character, which incidentally is a pretty good chart of how, of how popular characters are. Um, interesting stuff on that, Twilight Sparkle, obviously at the top, she's part of 7% of all pictures on Derpy Borough. Damn. Wow. Twilight Sparkle also flooded E621. They have yep. a problem with it. That's like <laughs> the character on there as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm surprised Celestia and Luna are so close to the yeah. The G5 fans might notice that this is exclusively G4 characters, so I did make sure to also filter for our, for our favorite G5 characters. We're mostly around the 30th range, except yes, for Hitch and Sprout. Oh. <laughs> Flash him. Oh yeah, I left him in because he's just in the middle of this hole, I guess. It's one block of G5 characters. Nobody likes Flash Sentry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so is he just, just, just closely outranks Flash Sentry in popularity. <laughs> uh, Sunny has lost to Mordpie, and Sprout is somewhere on the lower ranks. <laughs> at uh, number 153. <laughs> 55. Okay, so we poked a bit around the database. Let's start at the start. This is uh, the picture I chose from uh, Tokukami. You can find her in the vendor hall. She's a very good artist. <laughs> um, but when you, when you see this, you can just start at the top and go to the first line and you will find Nothing too interesting there. It's like all of the site links and uh, the filters would be interesting, but they aren't in the data set. Maybe that would be something to add. I think public filters are supposed to be in the data set though. Maybe I just misunderstood the <laughs> misunderstood data set. I couldn't find uh, a good way to f to find out what is filtered. Have to uh, take a look into. It. Yeah. Um, so let's go to the second one. All different scores, upwards, downwards, comment counts. And let's just start, which is the most favorite picture? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, it's of it's course. It's, it's an animation with a rainy chain, I believe, or is that 3D animation from DigiPain? Uh, I, I think I clicked on it at some point, oh that's not sure what it but. I don't remember. So, okay, first, <laughs> first favorite, I can't show that. Let's do the second most favorite picture. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Let's go further down the list to number four. We finally found something that I can actually show. Uh, it is 
this wonderful GIF by a Reddit user that uploaded this GIF and then just left and has never done anything on this website ever since. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I see. I'm, I think there's a third one now. Yeah, there is a third one that I, that I just left out at that point. So let's go with the most upvotes next. Um, Unsurprisingly, it's exactly the same as the most favorites, so uh, he is not as shy as a seal. <laughs> Don't know where it is, that's like somewhere most further down, but... Um, yeah. I didn't actually want to include the most down vote, because I didn't want to be the one standing in front of this crowd and just look, haha, look at how bad this picture is. Um, I think it's some, it's some sort of racist meme or something. It's not racist, <laughs> oh, no. but it's or still it's bad. <laughs> the reason I included this, the reason I included this, was because I looked into the text for that picture, which included dynamic pose, OP is a duck, duckery in the source, OP is trying to start shit. OP started shit. <laughs> Pure unfiltered evil. <laughs> and what the fuck did you just bring upon this cursed land? <laughs> All of which were user submitted, by the way. <laughs> so going a bit more into the data sciencey stuff, because you know, just doing flat, uh, flat oh, works. The second most is like the political one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just doing flat queries is, you know, fun enough and you find things like this. Um, but let's try to figure something more out. I made this both controversial image. What does that mean? I took the score, which is just the upvotes minus the downvotes. I wanted it to be as close to zero, so I wanted a picture that has as many upvotes as downvotes, but also has the most, the most votes overall. And I found out the list is really boring. Like, it's, there's a few, there are like three or four images that are, that have a score under 100 uh, and a high enough vote count and most of the pictures down there are just unpopular kings. Uh, you know, this, this is like, these are the um, pictures with more than 100 votes and under 100 scores by the percentage of the rating, and you see the vast majority is explicit, uh, some questionable, and then you have protests in Grimdark, semi Grimdark. So it's just stuff that some people like and some people do not like. There isn't actually a lot of discussion about it. So let's jump to the next one. Uh, I just called this one metadata, which is just mostly just the uploader, the upload time, and the size. Um, so, so I actually did find the most controversial image, the one with the, with the most votes, but the overall score is, ze is exactly zero, and that's just Rick cuddling with Princess Luna. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, I remember when it was uploaded, it was actually a great image. Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> so, uh, let's, go, let's go with the upload time, let's go with the images over time, which <laughs> surprised me! Not because of the time on the right, but because of how constant it is. Like, ever since it starts, it's pretty much like around 20,000 images per month being uploaded. Like, I was surprised by this. And then I saw this. <laughs> and I was like, that can't be right. So I zoomed in. It can. And I found this. It is. Broke all sorts of records this, is, that day. this is by day. Like you see, this line up here is 500 images. The line up there is 7,000. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea what that was. I scoured the internet to figure out what happened in the first week of <laughs> April on Earth. And then finally, I found someone who could answer the question, which, which was an event that I completely missed, and apparently, everyone I asked didn't know about. But so basically, for April Fools, we always do some sort of ridiculous shit, and this year we kind of didn't have a joke for it because we, uh, our jokes potentially would be like crypto, political, or something, or, or AI. But we just figured like, no, nobody wants to hear that shit. So we we're like, okay, we're gonna give you meaningless points if you upload stuff. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Of course, meaningless points for the internet are just internet points. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone went like, went fucking crazy, ballistic <laughs> over that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a fun weekend. It was. It was ridiculous when I looked at this. Like this, I, I thought <laughs> this was like, because I looked into all of the pictures. Like I, I just took a bunch of the pictures uploaded at the time, and I looked at them and figured out: is there any connection between them? <laughs> no, no, obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> when you give people meaningless points for uploading stuff. They will upload stuff. They will upload stuff. We were watching on that on those two days and we were like, how how big are the numbers again? Are we still maintaining that like thousand thousand upload? Oh yes we are. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we do this? So going further to the to the image size, let's see what's the smallest picture on Derpy Borough? This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A 5x5 five five image that has a total size of 89 bytes. Is it OC dot? It is this wonderful OC picture of an OC that I wanted to show in full size. It doesn't exist. This is the OC. <laughs> it is a picture with an OC tag to which there is one picture. <laughs> so I said, good, this is tiny, let's, let's go with the biggest one. Um, I wanted to go the large by five size, and I said no animation or videos because that's boring. Let me guess, what's the community collab? So I found a picture with 101 million bytes and a, and a pixel size of 4670 by 6000. <laughs> Going down the list <laughs> to, 96 me to 96 megabytes and 18,000 by 12,000 is the Dirty Borough Collab. I don't see you on there. Mine too. Yeah. Uh, I had to downsize this because my computer could not handle it. <laughs> <laughs> showing this in the, in the, uh, you could just download the, th the thumbnail version. Because it wasn't that smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did downsize it. Uh, then I looked, I mean, okay, this is the biggest by file size. What is the biggest by just pure, by pure pixel size? <laughs> because more pictures of Big Mac must be big. This picture has 1,464,800,000 pixels. <laughs> because all pictures of Big Mac must be big. <laughs> Going down the list one, talking about tags. You know, this big conglomerate of tags, which I roughly put into categories. We have the rating numbers. Please use our tags. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen I've seen pictures that have... I, this is one I chose because it roughly fit on the screen and had like a lot of the categories in it. So we have the rating at the start, shows those pictures as a W. We have the artist tag, one more. We have character tags in blue. And we have the species tags in uh, brown. Orange or reddish, brown, orange, and then all the rest, just miscellaneous stuff. And Coloring. Also have my what are that categories? Uh, content family category, yeah. content official category, error category, uh, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Right, the error category is in bright red. Um, it's just red other stuff. Associate, meme, number of characters, uh, other specifics, you know. Uh, interesting about this picture that I figured out later <laughs> is this picture is tagged as black and white, monochrome, and grayscale, which <laughs> don't entirely fit together. <laughs> but uh, I'm not the one making these tags. So if you just go to the most used tags, obviously we have safe. I have just filtered out some some things because like. Half of this was just different kings. <laughs> okay, let's just filter out all of the explicit stuff. It's not super. It's not super uh, surprising, you know. Female are more 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 often used than male. Unicorns are best ponies. Uh, hey, but I guess this game wants more location. But everyone, everyone, you know, everyone keeps saying that their people are always. Hmm? Yeah. Separate your appendix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone, 
everyone kept telling me that, you know, Doku Bro is the cesspool of just the worst of the fandom. But at least I have the decency to put on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking about body types in grey that have, didn't have the image, there are a bunch of them. Uh, pony is not considered a, a body type, it's considered a race, which is a different category. Uh, Anthro is also one, but it's implied because the body types are all anthro types all. <laughs> so I filled that those one out. So the most one is Unuli Great Anthro, which is a pony legs and hoofs, and then just anthro. Then there is human legs and human feet, which it's hard to find a picture for. There's exactly one group of people that make these types of pictures. <laughs> then we have semi-antro, which has no human features but still walks on two legs. Um, there is the digitigrade, which is an antro walking on, on uh, toes. Is that a typical for furries to be that? Yeah. Furries have that a lot. For example, Kappa. We have Taurus. For example, Tyrek or miscellaneous pictures of that. Um, then we have Human Hat on Pony. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like to sit down, there are still places, there are still seats. Um, There's like four or five seats over here, some in the front. And if you want more chairs, we can just bring out more chairs. Yeah. I have, I have enough time now. I still have like half an hour for the... Oh, yeah, this one. You can sit here as well. They're not bad we have to uh, next on the list, we have two-legged creature, <laughs> which I guess is a thing. You know, having also also having human uh, human hat on pony. We also have pony hat on human, which is pretty pongs. <laughs> then there is I need kimono mi. Mimi, which is, as far as I understand, basically uh, Nekos and everything along those sides, which is basically a human with some animal features. The search for that looks similar to the to the <laughs> ponies with human feet, by the way. Uh, I had to filter a lot of stuff out to actually find something I could show you. Goddamn animal fans. And then there is probably not salmon. The official description is. Why is it the body? But you can tell it's not salmon. Probably. <laughs> there are not a lot of pictures, but there is this. <laughs> that is a body type. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can. I guess you can agree that it's probably not salmon. The explicable body type. Okay, but you can tell it's not a salmon, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Disclaimer, so. disclaimer: not being a salmon, not guaranteed. <laughs> may include traces of may salmon. Include traces of salmon. It may actually be salmon. <laughs> All right, so going back into the statistics a bit, what's the most tagged image? It's this, with 5,962 tags on a single image. No, it's deleted. <laughs> oh no! So going to the second one, you know, still ridiculous amount of tags, and that one is also deleted. <laughs> okay, 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 I can, I can explain that actually. So, in, in, in the recent months, we have had a very deranged person called Clomade raid the sites and add thousands of garbage tags to images yeah. and send like weekly emails to the ops email like uh, 
kill yourself or like all, all, all sorts of obscenities and like you have banned me, I, I, I was innocent, I didn't do anything, why would you ban me, why, would, why, why, why are you so mean, why did you discriminate against me, whatever. And they basically just break the site, they add a, a thousand garbage tags that are basically just all some sort of obscenity or some sort of offen offensive stuff or some sort of like fucking not safe for life stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we have to explain. This is something that I that I had an idea. I'm going to get to that, but I didn't really find out who exactly it was about. Um, so going a bit further down the list, I found another <laughs> deleted picture. Um, in, in case anyone is is uh, wondering, Rule Five actually says do not post forbidden content. I don't know if I mm. think it means it's um, anthrology or some sort of not safe for life stuff. Yeah, what's that oh. for? Yeah. So it's just a general rule of just, you know, be a decent human being. Um, so after filtering out everything that was deleted, I found uh, a video, which I'm not going to show here. If anyone wants to see that, it's just a safe work video with a lot of stuff in it. Um, because it has a bunch of art pieces. Yeah. But then the actually most tagged image that I could see <laughs> and show here is your rights to the world collab again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a different one this time. This is the one from 2020. Um, I'm on there somewhere. Yeah, there. Uh, I'm not on there somewhere. <laughs> but now you might see like this is like 5,000 tags that can't be normal. Uh, it indeed is not. Like uh, if people are a bit, uh, if you know a bit about statistics, you might run over percentiles. Percentiles pretty much mean, like in the 99th percentile mean 99% of images have 58 or less tags. 50%, the 50th percentile is the average, so the average picture has 16 tags. Um, and even the 99.9th percentile, meaning 99.9% .9 of pictures uh, have 96 or less tags, still no, nowhere near these ridiculous outbursts, which is something you have to keep in mind. Um, there are only 2,000 pictures with over, with over 100 tags, which just shows once again, you know, you have to make sure to get your arrows like down a bit, because you get these ridiculous outbursts, which is where the average often has a real problem with, with the pictures. Now we went, we got to, uh, to tag edits, which was a lot of deleted pictures. I had to write a separate, I had to write an entirely separate uh, query just to filter out deleted and explicit pictures. Um, because there were so many, like this picture is the first one I found which has 14,000 tag edits. So 14,000 times someone went in and changed the tags in some place. The highest one is this one, not the, the spoiler, but the one behind the spoiler, which has 75,000 tag edits. And I looked at the numbers and asked me, but why? <laughs> why would someone do that? So the average, the average picture has 11 edits. 99.91% of images have less than 100 edits. So this is probably um, either automate, this is probably an automated attack. It's not automated, it's just a very deranged person. <laughs> That's <laughs> way too much time. <laughs> it um, is not automated, I, I, I swear, all these attacks are not automated, but it's just one very, very, very deranged person just having it out for us. Yeah. Rather not. So, you can take certain conclusions from that. You know, the conclusion this time is there was something happening on the Earthy Borough at some point in time. There's always Turns something out. happening. <laughs> Turns out it was recent. It's still yes. happening. Uh, do you know what was the edit? So was it maybe like one tank week? Edit, edit and remove, edit and remove. Um, it like was edit like, warring or what? It was like someone would add like a thousand or like five thousand tags and then a, moder then a poor moderator would remove the five thousand tags and then Actually, I mostly just reverse them via console. Yeah, it's probably the best way. But there is always a tag history that you can look into. But it's not like back and forth. Those do exist on some images where someone adds a tag and someone removes it and someone adds it again and someone... 
And then another uh, director can comes in, bends one of the people, and <laughs> runs the <laughs> back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we as moderators basically have a button that's tied to every single user profile, IP, and fingerprint, uh, where we can just press it and undo all the tech changes this IP has ever done. Yeah. Um, which is a very too big. Which uh, would appear like a moderator just went in and uh, in like in in the span of like five seconds changed hundreds of thousands of tags. Yeah. I, I would I would have not expected any of this being even remotely manual. It's not Apparently, true. someone did do that manually, adding all of that, and then suddenly, and luckily, there was something to remove all of it. Yeah, adding is manual. It's just one deranged person just yeah. being a piece of carrot for yeah. the sake of it, and yeah. us just removing it via automation. Yeah. So, um, talking about tags, we also I also would like to talk about tag aliases, which is basically one tag can can more or less rename another. So if you look for one of them, you will find all of the content tagged the other way. This is, for example, used for like all of the spoiler tags and all of the episode tags also have the title of the episode. So if you look for the title, you will also find all images tagged with the season and episode number. Uh, it can be used to correct the spelling of humor. Uh, it can be used to properly name the portal gun. It can be used if uh, if artists have a little bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> I know the story behind Wooden Toaster. <laughs> or it can be used for the most important thing. Wait, it's all Ohio. <laughs> Always has been. Yes. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This can get a bit ridiculous, so ridiculous that I had to change the way I show these because what has a lot of tags? There's I don't even what 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 am I looking at? What even and a bunch of other things. So the question is who has the most? Who has the most tags? And I don't know, I don't think the person is here now, but champ, we do need to talk. Or should I call you Radical Bones or Trash Prince or any of the 17 other names you've given yourself on this website? This is the most <laughs> tag alias tag on Derpy Borough, which is more aliases than your character here, spread wings fl and flat colors. Spread wings, wings spread, open wings, wings open, and any variation of yeah. whatever you can think of. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is frankly ridiculous, and I don't know what was going on there, because, none of, because also none of these are actually are like actually related, really? Like some of them are, and I actually looked up this person on other platforms to figure out what was going on there, and they just have widely different names on widely different platforms. And all of them are linked together on the people world. So if someone tries to hide their identity, don't go on the people world. People will figure that out. <laughs> and with that, thank you for thank you for listening. If you'd like to talk to me, I'm on Telegram. I uh, do have a website that's still being built up, and you can find it on Mastodon. There's one question. I, I'm not sure if you'll be able to know this, but what, would you know what is the tag that is least used? The tag, there is a lot of tags that are, sim like, the thing is least used is always a bit of a problem because there are a lot of tags of, like a whole Even bunch of artist tags, uh, OC yeah. tags, a whole lot of character tags that just have one use. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. 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 A bunch yeah. of tags that have zero images. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Alias tags, because we still keep the tag that has been the source of the alias, uh, but it's like a tag with zero things in it. Yeah, um, that's why. That's also that's also the reason why I had to filter when I did the score. I had to filter so many images because they are. Uh, like a lot of images that simply have one upvote or zero upvotes. Uh, just pictures that nobody ever sees because they're like on the featured page, they're like on the front page for, for like two seconds and then they just fall out into the depths of the people world. Um, about the text, I did also really want to make, I really wanted to make a uh, look into what tags are used together very often. Um, 
which runs into the problem of being an absolutely ridiculous amount of data because there is a ridiculous amount of tax. I don't know the exact number right now. And you need to do, use that square and then you have the, the size of the table. I tried to figure out how many the table had. Like I created a table that had every combination of tag and the amount of uses. There's about 646,000 tags. Yeah. yeah. To the power of two. That's <laughs> You can uh, it by half, technically. Whenever I tried to do anything with this table, be it, look at it, <laughs> make a count, even just get a single line, the, the container that the, that the database was in immediately crashed because it just ran out of all available resources. Uh, and I did not manage to fix that. Someone said, hey, how about you create an index? Yeah, that also needs interacting with the, it with the database. On the public import, I think. Yeah, but I needed to like create a new database from that. Oh, you need a new index. A yeah, new yeah. table to, to get that. So um, this is something that I will try to use. Uh, we'll try to still do, and maybe I will hold this talk again next year with like a bunch of new stuff and the new data dumps. Um, but that's something that they just couldn't figure out. Yes? If you go after combination, couldn't you throw out all the tags that have under a certain amount of uses? Mm -hmm. Because if you uh, look at some combinations that are rather common, yeah. uh, you could throw out every tag that has less use than this combination you already found. Yeah. Uh, that I could do, I also, what I also did is, uh, very quickly I created a table that was like there is one table that has like each image and their tags, like w like the image ID and then the tag ID, which is just tags, and I filtered that out for all of the tags that aliased each other. Um, so that already gets rid of quite a lot of tags because they're mm -hmm. tags that are simply aliased a lot. Um, but yeah, it's th this is the point where where you do data science, where you reach the point where you actually have to look into the more specialized tools. You know, I was using Postgres which is not super efficient, but it is reasonably efficient. So I might just, you know, figure this out. Um, if you want big data, you have to use like ClickHouse or other columnar database. Yeah, yeah. But we are not implementing that. No, I <laughs> uh, mostly use Postgres because that is, the, that is the data format dump is in, so that was the simplest way of doing it. It still took quite a bit of time. So, um, yeah, if I come back next year, I will. I hope that I can then do that, but all I was able to do now. Yes? Uh, I was curious, uh, when the April Fool's thing happened, yeah. uh, was it more people uploading screenshots of the show or AI or just slightly edited, ed uh, edited Pictures. I, I looked at around. I looked at around. I think like forty or fifty of just random pictures from the list, and I could not really find a pattern. Right. So oh. people literally like they, they went into basically they went into their image folder, press Control A, and just upload to Derpy Bro. Right. It was just random, <laughs> random stuff. I actually would like to add to it. Yeah. 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 Those were just normal uploads. Uh, there was like surprisingly little abuse of that. Yeah. yeah. There were some AI things, like people trying to cheese the system by just generating a lot of AI shit. Um, but we dealt with those. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's why I didn't, like, I tried to figure out what was going on and I couldn't from the pictures. Because most of it was just normal pictures. People just drew stuff and uploaded it. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can say uh, what I've seen, there's a, there were a lot of old pictures that haven't, like, made it to Derpy Baru. Before. So yeah. somebody was literally looking at the history of everybody's posts and looking what hasn't been uploaded yet, probably. What yeah. many people did is they picked an artist and went through their deviant art and what hasn't been uploaded to their people, they just uploaded it. Yep. yep. So it was basically an achievable, a call to achieve more, to, yeah. to go through and, and like make sure, sure we have everything teacher. collected. So it's. Yeah. it's Basically, a good thing in the end. Yeah. Do it again. Yes. <laughs> yes. I will. Feel <laughs> yeah. the pony surge or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> a crusade for my ponies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forget that we now limit two machine learning generated images to birthday per user. Otherwise, you get banned. 
interesting. All right. That's interesting. I did not know that. Um, <laughs> Nobody moves. Yeah. Just, just, uh, okay. so you know, I did forget to put that on the listing here. If anyone does want the, the source code to like all of the research, everything I did and this, and this presentation, uh, it's all on GitHub. Uh, you can just ping me on Telegram or just look up. It's also Chase22 on GitHub. Full disclaimer, this is the this is like the deranged notes of someone that spent a good three, four months just diving into Derpy Bro and just doing random things and poking at a database. Um, it is not structured. <laughs> like some of it SQL, there's some Kotlin code, there is like some scripts to do things, and then there is one folder that has all of this, um, like the actual presentation. But uh, that is, is open source. Yes. Okay. At Chase22 on GitHub. With or without underscore? Without underscore. Okay. We're going to throw it, judge your GitHub. Yeah, let's do die domain. <laughs> if anyone wants to do that, that's a lot of a lot of unfinished and random stuff. Okay, commit for Java now. I got rid of JavaScript. I'm no longer working with JavaScript Woo! anywhere. Nice. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, still have a great time. <laughs>